very often we get to cover breaking news here at the Weather Channel that's not weather related, but you're looking at a section of Interstate 85 through the city of Atlanta. This is the northbound side of Interstate 85 that caught fire and then collapsed Thursday evening during rush hour. The fire started about 6.18 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time from some type of flammable material that was stored under Interstate 85. The fire burned for about two hours before Atlanta firefighters combined with fire crews from Atlanta's Hartsfield-Jackson Airport were able to put the fire out and contain it. They will be fighting this fire now throughout the evening, Thursday evening, perhaps into Friday morning to make sure there are no hot spots. But if you were planning to travel to Atlanta, if you were planning to use Interstate 85, find another route because it simply is gone in a section of downtown Atlanta. Can't say how large that section was. We're not sure what was on fire. The good news is no injuries, no fatalities have been reported from this fire. Changing climate reveals the past in surprising ways, like long flooded towns above water again when drought drains a lake. Now melting glaciers are even bringing death to life. The Telegraph headline calmly states the cold, macabre truth. Melting glaciers in northern Italy reveal corpses of World War I soldiers. These 17 and 18 year old boys were killed by enemies, their own commanders, avalanches, and the worst enemy of all, the cold. In World War I, Italy sided with the Allies, attacking the Austro-Hungarian Empire on the worst battlefield imaginable trench warfare at six to twelve thousand feet in the italian alps it was called the white war according to mark thompson's comprehensive book more than a million italians and austro-hungarian troops died here most on these bare stony hills the italians even resorted to the roman practice of decimation random executions of their own men who rebelled or deserted by the 1990s melting glaciers were surrendering long silent weapons and even love letters never sent in 2004 a local mountain guide found mummified remains of three austrian soldiers in 2012 two more soldiers were discovered and given full military honors as we approach the 100th anniversary of world war one dozens of italian museums and communities are coming together for an initiative called from war to peace to remember the fallen i'm matt sampson the weather channel